Hello guys, in today's video we are going to see a carp reduction from the Hamiltonian cycle problem to the Hamiltonian path problem. The Hamiltonian cycle problem is one of 21 NP-complete problems of carps and uh, the reduction we are going to see today is going to prove the Hamiltonian path problem is NP-complete as well. But before getting into the action, let's match our expectations. My videos depend on the wisdom of the crowd, a topic that really fascinates me. Therefore, if you find any mistake in what I say, please let me know in the comment section below. I promise to read all comments and re-upload if necessary. Also, please subscribe to my channel, tend to upload many videos on this topic. Hamiltonian cycle is a path which travels on all vertices of the graph except to the vertex we began from, in which we arrive once we finish going through all vertices. The Hamiltonian path is the same except that we finish the track on the last vertex rather than returning to the first vertex. Let's look at the solution. Alrighty. Reduction from the Hamiltonian cycle problem to the Hamiltonian path problem. Both Hamiltonian cycle and Hamiltonian path indicate that it is possible to traverse on all vertices of the graph without visiting one of the vertices more than once throughout the journey. The difference between the definition is that on a graph with a Hamiltonian cycle, it is possible to return to the first vertex of the path from the last vertex of the path, making it possible to restart the path. In other words, let v1, v2, vn be the vertices of graph G with the Hamiltonian path property. The path starts at v1 and ends at vn. By adding the edge vn v1, we can upgrade the Hamiltonian path to a Hamiltonian cycle. Let's see an example. This graph demonstrates the Hamiltonian path property. We start at v1. We continue to v2. We finish at v3 and we visit it once exactly on all vertices of the graph. Therefore, this graph has the Hamiltonian path property. But what if we add an edge from V3 to V1? We can resume the Hamilton path from the beginning, hence we have the Hamilton cycle property. We will now see a reduction from the Hamilton cycle problem to the Hamilton path problem. The idea is straightforward. Given a graph with an Hamilton cycle, we will omit the edge that takes us from the last vertex of the path to the first vertex of the path and we found the path. Going from the Hamilton path to the Hamilton cycle, however, we will add an edge from the last vertex of the path to the first vertex, forming a path. We will now show the reduction. First direction. Assume that the graph G equals VE in Hamilton cycle. By ignoring the edge from the last vertex to the first vertex, we got the path. Hence, G equals VE is an Hamilton path as well. Overall, there is a logical conditional from G equals VE in Hamilton cycle to G equals VE in Hamilton path. Second direction. Assume that the graph G equals VE is in Hamilton path. We will construct a new graph G prime equals V and E prime consists of all vertices on edges of the original graph plus an additional edge from the last vertex of the path to the first vertex. Overall, there is a logical conditional from G equals VE in Hamilton path to G prime equals VE prime in Hamilton cycle. In conclusion, we had seen a reduction and if and only if relation between the Hamilton cycle problem to the Hamilton path problem. Hence, the Hamilton path problem is NP-complete. Coming up next, we will see a similar reduction from the Hamilton cycle problem to the double Hamilton path problem. Hamilton path in particular and path in, in graph in general are distinguished from one another if one of the path has an edge, the other path does not. Taking advantage of this definition, we will now see another NP-complete problem called the double Hamilton path problem. Notice that Hamiltonian cycle traversing on n vertices consists of at least n distinguished Hamiltonian path. 
This is because it is possible to travel on an Hamiltonian cycle infinity times and by changing the vertex from where we start the path, we can ignore the edge that leads to that starting vertex and in that way to consider the cycle as an distinguished Hamiltonian path. Example. This graph has three different Hamiltonian paths and it also has the Hamiltonian cycle as we saw previously. This path, this path, starting from v2 and ends in v1, and finally this path, starting v3 and ends in v1, in v2 I mean. With that idea in mind, let's proceed to the reduction from the Hamiltonian cycle problem to the double Hamiltonian path problem. First direction, assume that the graph g equals ve is in Hamiltonian cycle. By starting a journey from two arbitrary vertices and each time ignoring the edge that leads to the vertex we started with, we found two distinguished Hamiltonian path. Therefore, g equals ve is in double Hamiltonian path. Overall, there is a logical conditional from g equals ve in Hamiltonian cycle to g equals ve in double Hamiltonian path. Second direction. Assume that the graph g equals ve in double Hamiltonian path it has two different Hamiltonian paths, let alone one Hamiltonian path. We will traverse through one of them and construct the graph G prime equals V E prime, which consists of all vertices and edges of the original graph, plus an additional edge from the last vertex of the path to the first. We had just constructed a graph that has a Hamiltonian cycle. Therefore, G equals V E in Hamiltonian cycle. Overall, there is a logical conditional from g equals ve in double Hamiltonian path to g equals ve in Hamiltonian cycle. In conclusion, we had seen a reduction and if and only if relation between the Hamiltonian cycle problem to the double Hamiltonian path problem. Hence, the double Hamiltonian path problem is NP complete. Well, that's about it. I hope you learned something new from this video and please comment below with your thoughts. First degree studies in university are all about social studies and this project comes to encourage that even throughout complicated situations most of us are going through right now. Please subscribe to my channel. Until next time, good luck.